what's up we're back hope that all you guys are doing well in today's tutorial i'll be breaking down how you can create this 360 camera look just from a simple clip using just a free plugin i'll have the plugin linked in the description for you guys but let's jump straight into after effects and i'm gonna break it down step by step for you guys so right here i have my scene from this skywater rain music video it's just a basic clip of the artist performing the song nothing too special and i'll start off by adding on a omino sphere effect and this Omenosphere map, I'll drag it onto my clip, straight on like that. And I'll start off by pressing layer. And right now we just have this, but I will be messing with the settings and show you how I get that 3D camera look. I'll keep the X repeat at one, but I'll turn up the Y repeat to 2.2. And then I'll start messing with the X and Y shift. And I'll turn up the X. Yo, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you guys know that I just dropped my Opium preset pack for Premiere Pro 2. And it doesn't need any paid plugins, so it's beginner friendly. And all you need to do is really download that. And then you have all of these drag and drop effects that you can drag onto your scene as easy as that. But I'll have it linked in the description for you guys. And if you're interested, you can go check that out. But onto the video. And I'll turn up the X shift to somewhere around 80. Let's do 82. And let's turn up the Y shift to 100 and keyframe that and go a few frames in and turn it back to zero so select override camera and let's start messing with the settings right here i'll keep the zoom at 120 at the beginning and keyframe that one and then go a few frames in to your last keyframe and turn it up to 180 and then i like to turn up the x rotation so i put it at 280 right here and now we can see that we're starting to get that 360 camera look uh, pretty simple but i'll mess with the effects a little bit more i'll also start messing with this z rotation right here just to get a spin so i'll keyframe the z rotation from the beginning turn up the z rotation to something just drag it up let's do one rotation and 25 and keyframe that one and then go to your other keyframes and turn it back to zero that way we will get a spin so right now with the settings we have we can have something like this but with the keyframes that i added on we will get a transition that goes through this one and then into the other one just like this and right now it isn't too smooth so i'll start messing with the graph editor and turn on motion blur so press u to see all the keyframes select all of them press f9 and that will ease them and now i'll open up the graph editor and start making a graph that looks something like this and i'm using the value graph right now so if it doesn't look like this for you you just have to go here and select value graph and then i'll make a keyframe that looks like this for all of my effects so right now i have something that looks like this and I mean, if you just look at the clip, you would think that it was shot on a 360 camera, except for that little blue ball in the middle. And I mean, the only way to get that away is to reduce the zoom, but that will mess up the whole clip. So you just have to go with this one. And now to make it a little bit more smooth, I'll be adding a RSMB effect. And this is a plugin. And this is just a additional motion blur to get it a little bit more smooth. You don't have to do this, but if you do have the plugin, make sure to add it on. And I'll also be moving my keyframes a little bit into my scene. So I can have this scene going on in the beginning and then it will rotate into the other one. Now after doing that, I have this as my final product. But like always, you don't have to copy all my settings and follow all my steps. You can just use this as a blueprint and then mess with the settings to get something that you like. And this effect is actually from my new preset pack that I'm working on, which will be basically just a VFX pack that will be essential for all music video editors. I'll just show it off real quick. I have another scene right here, which is just plain. If I go to my effect and presets panel and search up my preset, I just call it chill sphere for right now and then just drag it onto my scene. I will immediately just have this look that I went through with you guys. And I mean, it's really that easy. It's just drag and drop. And right now this preset pack isn't out yet, but it will be soon. But I have some other preset packs, like I said earlier in my store. So make sure to check them out. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.